Well, I don't. I don't. They don't need any advice from me. I'd like to. I'd like to ask them for advice because they, 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 they're doing it great. I mean, they, they clearly have. They are inhabited by like the spirit of rock and roll. You know what I mean? Like, and and everything that is that I love about rock and roll and I love about music, they've already got. So if they just go there and play their song, they're gonna be fine. They don't need any. You know. Stay well, you know. Don't you know? Make sure you wear a mask. Make sure that you know, everybody on the crew is vaccinated, etc. Um, but I would, but I would say, like, I'm really, I'm very happy for them, proud of them, and uh, and and look forward to them having a great future. I, um, I had pretty strong ideological beliefs uh, that were independent of music. You know, I was raised. Uh, in a home where there was a lot of radical leftist politics, but I lived in a town that was very, very conservative, uh, kind of racist and conservative. Uh, but my mom was a radical, so so that juxtaposition led to think a lot of thinking about and figuring out who I am and what I think. You know, because I had a lot of disagreements and discussions from a very you know young teenage years. Um, mm -hmm. And but for me. Originally, music and politics were completely separate. I loved heavy metal music, but it was normally the subject matter was, you know, the the occult or girls or whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, and I yeah. never really I I liked the 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 aggression of the music, but I could never really relate to the lyrics of the music.